Hello, beautiful people, and also the mildly attractive ones. Hey, I'm C, and welcome to She Gigs It. On this channel, I make videos about gig economy work. And now I find myself as a full-time gigger, gig app, app, gig, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to use these apps to get this money. So, come on in, give me a like and subscribe, and check me out on my journey. Let's get this money. Well, this is something new. I almost rejected this order because I thought it was a shop and deliver. And I was like, BJ's, 16 items, who knows what it is or how big. The instructions say this is a pickup order. Bring a shopping cart to the pickup area. Do not shop for this order. Ooh, good. <laughs> this is new to me, a BJ's pickup and deliver only. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if this is new to your market. Have you done one before? Or if it's always been like this in your market. Because I've done BJ Shop and Deliver. But this has been my first pick up and deliver only. I have been getting lots and lots of orders for Advanced Auto on Uber Eats all two three four five dollar orders and i'm thinking to myself advanced auto it's going to be some auto parts. what if it's an engine what if it's a transmission how am i supposed to pick that up i don't know so i have been rejecting it. but then i got one on doordash and i thought to myself if i get there and it's too heavy at least i know the doordash will pay me half pay plus i was right across the street from advanced auto so i tried it and it wasn't bad so this is my first advanced auto pickup on doordash so let me know have you done a pickup from advanced auto on doordash or uber eats what was your experience what did they have you pick up <laughs> I tried it out just to see what it actually was. So, let me know down below. I have a DoorDash for Kinetic Auto. Uh-huh. How big is it? It's just a case of fluid. Oh, okay. <laughs> it can get really heavy sometimes. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of um, Uber Eats, and I was scared. I was like, what did they send the engine? <laughs> I was nervous, but this is fine. Okay. Yes, that's all your, uh... So this is it. Case of motor oil. Not bad. It's been a little while, but I am back and I have a life update. I know I didn't really lean into it before. I just kind of drifted into other things. But when I first started this channel, I was a cab driver. Well, I drove a cab because I try not to let what I do define me. So I drove a cab and I began door dashing to supplement income. So I saw how lucrative door dashing could be. And it also helped that we were going through the pandemic at the time. So things got real lucrative on door dashing. Weather changed and it just made a lot more sense to do door dashing. So after that, seasons changed and I went back to full-time cab driving. Since then, I've teetered back and forth between part-time cabbing and part-time apping. And I'm just multi-apping at this point. Now for me, I have a big problem with change. Change is so difficult for me. Once I have a routine and it works for me, I like to stick with it. But times change and sometimes you just gotta get with it. So the apps that I am using, I am doing DoorDash, I am doing Uber Eats, I'm also doing Instacart and Shipped. Those are the four apps that I am using right now. And I'm satisfied with them, but I also want to branch out and pick up a couple of more apps just because I have goals set for myself on what I want to make. And I know some apps are 
better certain times of the day, certain days of the week. And I just want to have that accessibility to make what I want to make when I want to make it. That's it. That's all. Okay, I just picked up my first order from Carabas. Four items, $10, 4.6 miles. Let's get it delivered. shipped order for Safeway. 10 items total. It's actually five items and then five bananas. I waited till the promo went up because I really didn't want to drive this far down for an order but it's kind of late so let me go ahead and knock it out and get it to the customer. It's close to the delivery. Well, it's at the delivery window. It's supposed to be delivered between 9 and 10 so let me go knock it out. two of the items two of the items they did not have one she accepted a substitution for she had a backup in the system so that was cool um but they didn't have that backup so i still had to wait for her to approve a different brand not brand but a different um product the second substitution she said never mind she didn't want it she'll wait so the drop off is nine minutes away groceries in the back in the chill bag let's get it to her
So after I dropped off the ship orders, I was closer to Annapolis and I didn't want to be down that way because it's more rural, back roadish, um, unless you go all the way out to Annapolis. So I came back up the road to Glen Burnie and there were no openings in Glen Burnie. I got on Uber Eats, they sent me something for about $4. I declined that. And I'm in the parking lot with Glory Days because they normally get some pretty good orders right before they close. I think they close at 11. And it was an opening for DoorDash. So I slid in there. So I'm on DoorDash and I'm also on Uber Eats. So let's do a little dirty multi app in the dark. So I got another order from Uber Eats, but Uber Eats is doing this thing where they'll send you all over the world. And that order was over $7, but it was about 15 minutes away to pick up the order. So, no, I declined that. So, let's see what else they got. DoorDash sent me an order for $2.50, 2.9 miles for We Want Wings. Now, I'm not sure if that's Glory Days, because I'm right here parked beside Glory Days. It may be Glory Days, but I normally don't do wing spots. If it has a wing in the name, I just decline it because wings take too long. No matter where they're coming from, they always take too long. But I'm not sure because a lot of the big restaurants have different chain names. Ever since the, the pandemic, they have split off and, you know, categorized in a smaller, I guess, restaurant, probably for taxing purposes. I don't know. But no. Uber Eats just sent me an order for CVS on Baltimore Annapolis Boulevard, which is about 15, maybe 17 minutes away. This taking me all the way to the hotel by the airport, which is 25 minutes total away from here. Um, $17 and some, no. Mm -hmm. No, I don't know why Uber Eats. I mean, I guess I understand why they do it because if you want to take the orders available, but give me something that's closer to me. Give me something that's right here in this area, and it's not going to the hood because I'm not going to the hood in the dark. I don't do that. Last night was a now go. I wasn't getting any orders that were really worth it, so I called it a night and went home. I didn't get to do any dirty multi-apping in the dark. And if you're not familiar with what a dirty multi-apping is, I got this term from another gig tuber. I don't know. I think I just like saying and dirty multi-apping. I think it sounds spicy. Basically, it's using the apps at the same time. That's it. So dirty multi-apping is more or less picking up two or more app orders at the same time time i've become quite good at it yeah you DoorDash got that contract the violation right between doordash uber eats shipped and instacart depending on what kind of order i get so with shipped if i have a delivery only and i have an hour time frame i can use that to go pick up other orders say i get a doordash walmart delivery and my shipped order is the grocery store that's next to Walmart. I can pick those up in the same time frame and deliver those without an issue. Or if it's DoorDash and Uber Eats, I use DoorDash as the base because DoorDash gives you the most information as far as where it's going to. So I can use that to align my route. If I get an order from Uber Eats, at the same restaurant or relatively close restaurant to that restaurant and they're going to the same area maybe a couple of streets over that works out and i can do them both without any issue unless one or one is not ready on time then that's where we run into the issue and i may have to drop one but like i said i've been getting pretty good at the multi app thanks for watching she gigs it don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time around.